How's it going everybody? Ryan Brad here today and we are back with our Vancouver Canucks franchise mode and after an ex exciting Game 7 series against the Edmonton Oilers, uh, we did advance and we are now facing the Anaheim Ducks in round number 2 who are 40-35-7 and seven, so that's not too tremendous of a record so I will, I'll take that, I'll certainly take that for the second round but let's go ahead and see just what kind of lines they'll be throwing out at us. Uh, and it's actually not too bad of a team from first glance. They got Nal Yakupov on their first line, so it could be better, but he's still a pretty decent sniper. Uh, Ricard Raquel is now their first line center, and Tyler Toffoli. Uh, Ryan Getzloff is still kicking, as well as Corey Perry, but uh, Getzloff is still actually somewhat decent. They got Jacob Silverberg and Kelly Yarncrook, then Kirby Reichel, Sam Steele, Max Jones. So that's a pretty young, I mean, Sam Steele and Max Jones, both... Uh, Wow, Sam Steele's really dropped off on what his potential could be. And Max Jones is not bad, uh, not bad at all. And then they've got Nicholas Delorier, Julius Nottenen, and then Corey Perry. So Corey Perry's still down there on that bottom line. He's listed as a depth forward now. So I'm not too worried about what he's bringing to the table, except for that veteran leadership. But here they got Hampus Lindholm and Cam Fowler on the back end. Uh, Jordan Schmaltz and Brandon Montour, and then Kevin Gravel and Jacob Larson. So Larson never really grew to what they were hoping he would be, be become. Uh, and But then in goal, I'm assuming they still have Gibson. Yep, John Gibson, 88 overall. So this one might be a battle of the goal. Actually, that's not a very good uh, save percentage. So it looks like whoever they played last round uh, must not have had a very good defense because he, he allowed three goals per game. This... Uh, I, li I like our odds here. We're not we're not changing any of the lines either, guys. We're going to leave them as is. It worked. It got us here. Uh, so it's Panarin, Giroux, Ehlers, Besser, Granlin, Delian, Klimchuk, Pedersen, Kasha, Pavelski, Eakin, Furlan. And if you guys remember in the last one, we did scratch uh, Jake Vertanen. Now, as far as defense, you guys did say to play... Uh did say to play uh, uh, Steven Johns here instead, but I think I'm going to leave Pissick in there unless things start to go terribly wrong uh, because I still think that with some extra ice time, he can certainly get back to... Uh, He'd get his morale to go back up, uh, and then we can have him back in the 80s like we need him. And then, of course, guys, you know, Thatcher, Demko in net. I'm not going to waste too much time. Uh, I, I don't expect us to be hung up on the Anaheim Ducks too long. I feel like our opponents haven't been too tremendous, but we've spent more time than we should have on them. So let's go ahead and see if we can get an early advantage here in game number one on home ice. Oh, God. Come on. We're in the second round. We just... Uh, let's advance to the uh, Western Conference Finals. Let's go, boys. One, one team stands in our way. Uh, between us and the Western Conference Finals, so let's knock them off pretty quickly. Let's go first period. And Cam Fowler scores the first goal of the series, although we are doubling them up in shots. Not quite as good as I'd hoped. Well, let's go second period. And Marcus Granlund uh, goes ahead and ties this game up. We are destroying them in shots, but the most important stat category is one-to-one. -one, but we have a power play under five minutes into the third period, but we can't get it done. As we approach the halfway point of the third period, game is still tied one-to-one, -one, but we are doubling up in, up in shots. Well, our Temi Panarin scores on the power play to get us a two-to-one lead. And there we go. We're under five minutes, three minutes. Come on, hold on. Demko, let's go. And there we go. He does hold on, boys. That is a good one to see. Demko holds on to that uh, lead, and it is two to one. I, I, now I want to see if they, uh, if there was a minus line. If there was a minus line, I might need to keep my eyes out, but no, everyone was uh, even. So that's right. One of our goals was on the power play, and it seems like the line that scored was also the line that got scored on, but that's okay. And Oliver, Oliver Ekman Larson has been injured with a pulled groin, so I got to go best lines here. Uh, Delian up, Klimchuk, yep, can stay there. Oh, man, they uh, they changed the captaincy on me here, too. All right, we're going to leave Pissick up there, see if he can get a little bit better, but I hopefully... Oh, God, this is this is not looking good. Pissick on the penalty, on the power play. Shoot, we don't really have anybody else. I mean, Hutton and I guess Pissick is... I guess Pissick's it. And then Hutton, D'Angelo, Jekamovs. You know what? He's on the power... He's Pissick's on the first line power play. I'm not going to be too worried about it, but, oh, God, is my decision to uh, keep Pissick on that second pairing going to kill me? I hope it doesn't. Uh, right now, our team locker room chemistry is at 75%, and we are rolling right now as Claude Giroux is leading the way on that first line. There we go. Game number two, still in Vancouver. Got a one nothing lead. Can we take both games on home ice and really give ourselves momentum heading to Anaheim first period? And nothing, nothing. Now, shots are even this game so far. Even unlike last game where we absolutely dominated in shots only one, two to one. John Gibson playing fantastic again, but also Thatcher Demko. Which goalie will crack first in the second period? And it is John Gibson as Panarin and Giroux carry the load. And both 
of them on the first line get us a two goal advantage now on the power play we cannot score on the power play mark Pissick, the defensive defenseman not helping us out much there i much re would rather have oliver ekman larson on the power play there but i gotta make do with what i got and hopefully i can uh cheer Pissick up a little bit under four minutes to go here two minutes one minute and that is a two nothing victory this is back-to-back -back games where we only scored two goals but those two goals have been enough as our defense Mark Pisick has lost morale because of ice time. There is literally no helping you at this point, my man. Like, come on. Jake Vertanen was dressed. I do want to play uh, Joe Pavelski instead of Jake Vertanen. But, man, he lost morale because of his ice time? How much ice time could the man possibly want? Penalty kill? I mean, I'll t sure, I'll take D'Angelo off the pow uh, penalty kill here just to put him in there. But uh, changing current line, I hope I hit that one right. Uh, and then D'Angelo... Yeah, I did. Man, Pissick wants even more ice time. That is that is just nuts. He's getting top four minutes. He's getting first line power play. He's getting first line penalty kill. I don't know what more the man would want. I think he's now on the second line power play, but uh, that doesn't matter. I'm not too upset about that one. I mean, he's on the power play regardless. Anyway, uh, we are going down to Anaheim now. Every series is two. Someone is up two nothing. Wow, that's pretty, that's pretty interesting to see every series up to nothing. But let's go here. Down in Anaheim, not wasting too much time talking. I know I like to talk a lot, guys, but I'm going to get right into the simulation. Not going to dilly-dally too much. Let's go, boys. First period. And Giroux scores, but Hampus Lindholm scores with 36 seconds left to kind of squash our momentum there. But we still are leading in shots, and it is tied, I believe, in our offense. Let's go. Second period. And there we go. Brock Besser, who's been a stud in the playoffs, scores again. Brock has been clutch. Oh, man, let's go. Five minutes gone in this third period. We're dominating in shots, but we give Anaheim a power play, a long power play, and we're able to kill it off. We get a power play following it, a long power play for us, and we can't get it done either. Neither power play is able to get it done, and Cody Eakin scores for us, boys. There we go. Now we get a power play to ice this one away, and that is it. It is a 3-1 final. There we go. One goal in each period. So as long as we score three, I believe in the team. I don't want to score like five goal games as much fun as they are. But uh, let's go ahead. We have a 3-0 series lead right now. The only team to be up 3-0 in the series. Let's go. Uh, I will take that. Let's see. As far as uh, scouting is concerned, we're scouting the ELH. We'll scout defensemen for a week. Why not? There's only 14 of them. Uh, there we go. So sip next game. Game number four with the potential to bring those brooms out, boys. Let's go. Can we get it done? Oh, battling through these injuries all season. Oliver Ekman Larson goes down. Can we get... We need to get out of this series as soon as possible because I do not want to take any chances. Let's go, boys. we got a chance to end it tonight. Let's take that chance and hopefully we can get back on the plane to Vancouver and see how Oliver Ekman Larson is doing. First period. And nothing, nothing at the end of one. Now, the first period has been pretty even in every single game so far. Uh, shots are even. Everything is even in this game. Will something change in the second period? And it does. Kirby Reichel and Ricard Raquel score, but Marcus Granlin keeps us in this, and I believe this is the first time we've been trailing all series. Game number four headed into the third period. We are leading in shots. We are putting a bunch of shots on. We get a power play, and Anthony D'Angelo scores on the power play to tie this one up, boys, halfway through the period here. We've been putting shots on, and Claude Giroux, the offseason signing, Goes ahead and gets us a 3-2 lead. Come on, Demko. Shut that door. Close him off. 20 seconds. And Ole Olevi with one second left. Ices this one. And it's a 4-2 victory and a 4-0 series dub. And we go ahead and get out of this one in four. But the problem with this series, guys, we did lose D'Angelo. I don't know how long he is going to be out for. Let's go ahead and check out the injury report there just to see how long he will be out. He's returning May 13th. It is currently May, May, uh, it's currently actually, wait, it's April 30th, May 13th. That's about two weeks away. That's why I wanted to get out of this series as quickly as possible. If those other series could last long, that'd be great. Uh, hopefully those, wh whoever is still playing is not, yeah, there we go. Two to two in that series there. Every other series is two to two. So we, our boys get to go back to Vancouver, get some home cooking in them, get some rest, just practice, skate and shoot and watch some playoff hockey on TV and just find out who they'll be playing next. Uh, and so far, nobody's been playing. Interesting. So we were the only team to win four games and St. Louis is up three to two on the Chicago Blackhawks. 3-2 for the Carolina Hurricanes over the Tampa Bay Lightning and 3-2 for the New York Rangers over the Philadelphia Flyers. Let's keep it going here. 
Man, and nobody's played. This is the day I believe that most of the series have a chance of ending. And the Chicago, everyone ties it up. Every game is going to game seven. And just as I had hoped, we are extending this break as much as possible to play as few games as possible without uh, Oliver ekman Larson, and hopefully getting Pissick happier uh, just because he's practicing up on the lines. I don't think that matters. Maybe if I hold a team meeting and do something that he likes, he we will... Uh, Steven John's not happy, but I'm confident I'll break out soon. Uh, demanding. Uh, he does not like the demanding. Let's see who does Pissick like. The Pissick does not like demanding. That is not good. I'm pissing Pissick off. So pissing Pissick off. He's disgruntled, boys. Pretty soon he's going to want out, but uh, I believe he's at the end of, yeah, he's at the end of his contract. We're going to have to look for somebody else in free agency. Or maybe somebody grows within the uh, system here. But I don't know what we're going to get. May 6th here. And the playoff round is over. Who has advanced out of all their Game 7s? And it is the Chicago Blackhawks who have beaten the uh, St. Louis Blues. And then out in the East, we got Philly against the Tampa Bay Lightning. So both, I believe, all of these teams were down 3-2 to two in the series. And they came back in all won consecutive games in Game 6 and Game number 7 to go ahead and get to the conference finals. Now, if I advance a day, is, uh, I'm, I'm not going to simulate the series here, boys. I'm just going to see if OEL, OEL is not back. I don't know how long until he is playable again. Uh, well, just not, I don't want to check the morale. I know, all, the only thing I know about the morale is Klimchuk is happier than any could be. And, uh, and Pissick is pretty pissed off. So, injury report here. Uh, he's unable to play. I don't know. It doesn't, it's not going to tell me how long until he's able to play. But that is the story of this series. Not the fact that we won in four. Not the fact that Giroux is just destroying, you know, just point per game in the playoffs. That is nuts. Uh, as far uh, God, come on. I'm just upset that OEL got hurt, guys. So, we are going up against the Chicago... Wow, that they don't look to have a very good record. Am I just uh, a little bit spoiled by my team's record? Or are they not legit not very good? So the Central Division. The Chicago Blackhawks were the third team tied for the wildcard spot. And just one point... Yeah, this is pretty nice, guys. We are playing not the greatest teams. But at this point, when you get to the Conference Finals, they might as well be the greatest teams. Because in the Conference Finals... If, if, if Chicago's here and they were a third seed in their division, they've gone through some tough tests, uh, but they've they've uh, triumphed. So here we go, boys. One more series stands between us and the Stanley Cup Finals. Will we be able to top the Chicago Blackhawks, or will they be able to rebound and continue the end of this dynasty? But boys, make sure to subscribe if you want to see when I post this one, and I will see you in the Western Conference Finals.